guys welcome back to my channel we continue reading one piece together and try to translate and understand it so let's just start with the first black square on the first page it is three kanjis which are separated by a little dot the first one is tomi the second one meizei and the third one is chikara so they're translated like wealth fame and power those are the three expressions here and then we continue with the next sentence kate kono yo no subete o te ni ireta otoko this means when we start from behind the the man who had once everything in his hands <coughs> So we have kata, which which means once. Kono yo no subete. It's like everything on this world. Te is hand. You know this when you saw my first video. And then we have ni ireta to hold something. So all together is like once one man. Once one man had everything on this world in his hands. Kaizoku o pirate king. Guru do Roja, Gold Roger. <clears throat> so the next square says, Kare no shini. This is hard to read. Kare no shini giwa ni hanatsuta hitokoto wa. So, Kare no his, so on his. <clears throat> On his execution day, she is to die. Giwa is like the ceremony. So on, on the day of his execution, Hanatsuta. This verb means like to set something free or to release something or to urge something. In this case, it's like to release. Hitokoto wa with one word or with one phrase. Zenzen kai. Zenzen kai no hitobito. People all over the world. Umiye kari tatsuteta. So umi means see. And then the next hiragana e is like a grammar point which means a direction. So to speak into the sea. And then we have kari tatsuteta. Which means to urge or to flush out something. Or, yeah, somebody flushes out to somewhere. So all together, even if you don't know perfect Japanese, we understand what he wants to say. So this means on the day of his execution, with one word only or with one phrase, he released people all over the world to urge out to the sea. And then we have the next bubble. He says, Ore no zaiho ka. This means like Ore no mai. My treasure. Hoshi. Hoshi means to want something. Hoshi kere ya kurete ya roze. Kurete ya roze. Means the ze we can forget about that. But kurete ya means to give something to somebody. So we can understand he wants to say my treasure. You want me to give it to you Sagashite miro Sagashite means to look for something Miro is also to look but the first to look means more to search Sagasu to search Kono yo no subete o Soku ni oite kita if we start from behind again, we have the verb. I went and put it somewhere. Oite kita to put something somewhere. Sokoni. Sokoni is like that place or there. And then we have kono yo no subete o. On this world, all over this world. Subete is all over or the whole world. So altogether it means search for it on this whole world i put it on that 
place. And then we have Yowa, the world. And then the black square here. Dai kaizoku ji dai o mukairu. So dai, we had it in the first video again, means big or huge or grand. Kaizoku pirate and she dai. Ji dai. Ji dai means like a period or an era of something. So altogether means the world was confronted with a with a big or with a grand pirate era. And then we continue. Okay. Koko wa chisaina. It's hard to read. Me. It's mina to mura. Mina to mura da. So this is a little haven village. Yeah. Koko. This. Chisaina. Small. Mina to mura is the haven village. <coughs> Minato ni wa ichi nen hodo mai kara. This means on the haven for a period of one year. The mai, kar mai kara means one year ago or starting one year ago. Kaizoku zen ga te i hakushiteiru. Kaizoku we had before pirate and the zen is the ship. And then we have the verb teihaku. Teihaku here, this two kanji is, which means like anchoring. And then we have a grammar here with the teiru. You have a te verb, and then you put iru. And this means like something is continuously going on. So we understand that the ship, the pirate ship, is now anchoring for a year now on this haven. <coughs> Kazawa Higashi. The first kanji is wind, kaze. Many of you know that, I guess. The second one, the second kanji is Higashi, which means south. So altogether we can translate it like the wind comes from south, goes south. I don't know, but the wind is south. And we have another bubble. Speaking bubble. Oi, Rufi. Nani Surukida. Oi, it's like, hey, Rafi, what do you think you're doing? And then he says, Fun, like, hmm, I guess. And then in the square, we have another little description. Murawa itatte hewa de aru. The village, we have this before. Mura is extremely peaceful. Here, the sign here is peaceful. Hewa. <clears throat> then we have Rafi talking for the first time. He screams, of course. Ore wa asobi hanbun nanka janae. Ore, ai, wa, grammar, a grammar point. Asobi, asobu means to play around. And the hanbun is like half joke. And then we have the negative form of to do something. So practically he says, I'm not joking around. I'm not half joking here. And the next sentence says, Mo atama kita. And I'm getting mad. The next one says, Shoko, the proof. O, misete yaru. Misete means to show something. And miru means to see something. You heard this many times when you say, please show me something. They say sometimes, misete kudasai. And then when you say, please look at this, so you're holding something and you want to show, you say, mite, mite, please see that or look at that. So this is, I will show you the proof. And then we have an explanation of Rafi. Mura no shonen monkey di rufi. So, we have here the no again, a youngster, here a young guy or young boy, from the village. <coughs> then we continue. 
he's like, Shanks, da ha ha. Oh, look. Yatte miro. Let's see that. And then he says, Nansurka shira de gana. What are you up to? Or what are you doing? I don't know. Or we don't, we don't know. Both is okay. Because it's not clear if he talks only about himself. And the other man says, Mada rufiga o moshire koto yateru yo. Mada, again, rufi, is doing something interesting. O moshiroi means interesting, koto is something. And then he cuts himself. Fun. And the guys go crazy and they scream like, na. And Rafi screams, i te, i te, here, it hurts. And the response is, ba, ba ka, yaro, nani yatenda. It's like, idiot, guy or kid, what are you doing? And he screams again, i te yo. Next one. Yaru domo kanpai da. We have again this one for boy. And then we have domo. Domo means child. If you have the word kodomo, it's a child. So I guess this translation is like boy. Cheers. <clears throat> Rufi no konshoto. Tu Rafi's willpower. To means and, so that sharing to two things. To, ore tatsu no oinaru tabi ni. So, cheers to Rafi's willpower and to our big adventures or travel. Tabi ni is traveling. So, the drinking here, and you can see they're full of it. <laughs> so, the next bubble is ga ha ha ha. Laughing noise, of course. Nome, nome. Drink, drink. Sake, sake, sake. You know what it means. Tarine yo. Tarine yo. This means something is sufficient or enough. So I guess its translation would be there's enough sake to drink, I guess. Next one. Baga sonu nikuwa orenda idiot that meat is mine. Uruse lie or liar orega ku orega ku I'm eating I eat that. So he says oi which means like hey yose sake no ue no ken kawa miguru shi zo. So oi means hey, yose could mean like at the end. Sake no ue no, while drinking or under the alcohol, fighting, this katakana, wa, miguru, miguru, this means like, or miguru shi, it's like shameful. He's right. <laughs> and Rafi says, ah, Ita kunakata, like it didn't hurt at all, or it didn't hurt. And Shank says, Usotsuke, Usotsuke, nonsense or lies. Bakana koto sunjane, don't do such stupid things, you idiot. And he responds, Orewa, I, Kega. Kega is like injury. Kega, tatte zenzen kowa kunainda. Kowa kunainda. I am not afraid at all about injuries and, or hurting myself. And then we have another expression here. It's like it starts with a verb, which is like not the norm. It says surete. Surete is to take a person, take someone with you. Surete te kureyo. So to go somewhere and to take someone with you. Sugino kogai. Kokai. And sugino kokai means on the next trip. 
so if you understand he says i'm not af- i'm not afraid at all about injuring myself take me with you on your next trip and the next one ore datte kaezoku ni naritanda yo after all datte I think that means I want to be a pirate or I want to become a pirate after all. I hope you learned something. I know I did. Thanks for watching and see you on my next episode. Bye bye.